Hello and welcome back to another episode. Guys, I have here something super, super, super delicious and special for you. We have a vegetarian style of a Big Mac style nacho plate. Let's get to work, guys. Let's heat up our oven and get to the recipe. Like always, I'm going to leave the entire recipe down below in the description box for this recipe you're gonna need wraps found some delicious seaweed wraps here that have perfect macros so i fell in love with them and thought i'm gonna make delicious nachos myself with these wraps i will put a link down below if i find them on amazon for you next we need minced tofu with a slightly smoked flavor and we also have the vegetarian style Big Mac sauce. For both of these, you need the link, which I'm gonna upload soon and put them down in the description box. You're also gonna need pickles, onion, of course, shredded lettuce, and cheese meat. I took my all-time favorite cheddar mix. The first step is to cut our wraps into triangles to get these delicious nachos done for that i am cutting the wraps like shown putting them on top of each other so that i have less to cut actually and um, less steps i mean and then as you can see this is the way to cut your triangle it's super easy and you don't waste any food next it's time for the second step you're going to put all your wrap pieces or nacho pieces into a bowl and add some ghee and then just massage the ghee into the wraps like that super easy this will help to roast better in the oven and it gives this delicious nice ghee flavor next it's time to add some salt I take here Himalayan pink salt. You can also take salt, sea salt, whatever kind of salt you like. Make sure you salt them properly because these are snacks. So salt makes everything more delicious. Now it's time to spread your nachos evenly on a parchment paper and put those babies into the oven. Approximately 5 to 10 minutes on 180 degrees, depending on your oven. Make sure you don't leave um, them alone because we don't want burnt chips. So guys, this is how it looks when they come out of the oven. And as soon as you take them out, they're going to get cut. Guys, just took them out of the oven. Look how perfect the shape is. The kitchen is smelling like ghee. So amazing. And listen, listen. Telling y'all this is good. Okay, it's time for the toppings. Now we're gonna top these babies up with the cheese mix and with the tofu mix. Make sure every corner of your nachos are topped up because this is what it's all about. The Big Mac style topping on top here. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try this deliciousness. Because the nachos itself, they are already super delicious. But with the topping, mmm, can't wait. Now, I put half of the onions, a couple of the pickles, a little bit of the Big Mac sauce on top of the cheese. And then cover it again with the last layer of cheese. And then put it into the oven. Rest of the ingredients we're going to need for the final decoration of the plate. Now 
Now this baby goes again for about 10 minutes on 180 degrees into the oven. Don't leave them alone. They don't want to burn. Take them out and serve them on a warm plate. Arrange your shredded salad on the corners. Top it up with the rest of the onions, the pickles, and the Big Mac sauce. Guys, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Mm, my goodness. OMG, look at this beauty. Guys, I can't wait to try this delicious nachos. I mean, you guys know me, you know I love nachos. And this, with the Big Mac style vegetarian version, is a very special thing. So I'm going to dive into it. And then also, I want to mention here, I am not vegetarian nor vegan. I just try to make these recipes so that other people that might be vegetarian or vegan can also enjoy delicious recipes that I love. So make sure that you take the ingredients that are suitable for you, where you're safe and you really trust that these suit your kind of diet. I am just trying to make a copycat that is delicious for all of us and that we have fun and enjoy delicious food. Guys, look at the result. I mean, seriously, do you have any doubts? Vegetarian food, food can, can be, be super, 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 super delicious. delicious. And it looks exactly like the original stuff that we know. This is epic. I like, I love the tofu with the slightly... Um, uh, barbecue-ish smoked taste this liquid smoke is amazing especially the vegan version obviously for this recipe and then actually it has like all the ingredients that it usually would have and this is what i love about it and these tortillas turned out amazing i mean look at these nachos this is just amazing and they are higher in protein higher in fiber and especially for the people that are really vegan guys these have may way way more minerals for you so try these out with the seaweed and they taste bomb they taste really good specifically if you take a little bit of ghee and salt if you like can in the video, and you are vegetarian amazing. now let's do the taste test i'm very very curious here it is let's go Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Like zero you would you would assume in your mouth that this is meatless. Zero. Taste texture all the flavors these amazing nachos i mean i'm really a fan of these they are amazing look at the crunch so good try this recipe guys vegan or not vegan this is next level i mean having these chips with ghee taste is there something better i don't know i don't think so Try this recipe. Let me know what you think. Write down in the comment section. And um, I'm going to try to find these wraps on Amazon for you guys so that you can order. And I wish you a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy this taste. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. And don't forget to watch the other videos. You will help me to grow this channel and help others to find these amazing, helpful recipes. Love you all. Thank you. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video till the end. Do not forget to hit the like button, to hit the subscribe button and to come back next week on Friday, maybe Saturday or even Sunday, maybe all of them because I'm going to upload another amazing recipe video. Stay tuned. Isn't it wonderful that we all have more than enough to eat every day on our plates? Yes, it is.
But unfortunately, this is not the truth for many kids on this planet. For less than 70 cents a day, you can share a meal with share a meal. Actually, three meals with one child. So let's make a difference. I'm going to leave a link down below. You can follow it. It's so easy to share a meal. I'm so grateful that you helped me to make a difference. Thank you.